What am I doing with my life? Is this still worth it? It's the fear that stops us from doing a lot of these things. A lot of people still don't know what they want. And I feel like Money. the... Until, you know, we're dead, we're still trying to get to know ourselves more and <laughs> people who are in our generation who value mental health more than anything. Be part of my journey. Good day, Jerverse. This is Jer and welcome to my journey. When I sent you this question, as usual, you said acting and vlogging, but you also mentioned self-help. What's that all about? What What do you mean by self-help? What do you mean by you're passionate and that you, yeah. you love self-help? Let's start with the books because that's where I'm at right now. I really like reading self-help books. Some of the self-help books that I do read are You're a Badass. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but yeah, that's one of them. And I also mm -hmm. have read Flow and books Ooh. like Think and Grow Rich and yeah, stuff like those. Okay. I feel like it helps ground myself. It helps me be able to do everything that I need to do, especially with all the rejection. It's definitely gonna take a toll on you. Being a freelancer is also very difficult because you're basically the boss of yourself and you have to tell yourself to do these things and like to actually finish it. I'm also grateful that I have a lot of friends who are also into this thing. I feel like I started with like self-help when I watch a lot of videos of people who are successful because I, I really like watching those and hearing about their journey, about how they reach their success and the failures that they have gone through. It helps a lot when you hear other people as well, the people you look up to go through all those challenges as well because you know a lot of people just see the breakthroughs, the successes and that's why I'm really interested in you know the behind the scenes and what happens before that person reached success there's definitely similarities with the struggles that they face it helps you to keep pushing through with all the hardships that you go through because you feel like you're gonna reach that success as well eventually like for you as somebody who has to deal with a lot of rejection in her life what do you think like the biggest the most important piece of advice that you've ever heard or you've ever read or you know, what is the most important piece of advice to you to help you in your life and the things that you do? It's more of the mindset that we have. I feel like that's the most important thing. It's not really just purely positive because that's just toxic positivity, but it's really focusing on the positive things. Even through struggles, we should cry when we feel like crying, when we're sad. We should definitely feel all of the emotions that we do have. It really is proven, like having um, a more positive mindset definitely brings more opportunities. It's easy to be negative, it's more work to think of the positive things. For me now, there's videos as well where you can watch the billion dollar routine. Billionaires do these kinds of routines and it's balancing work and life, prioritizing your health, all of the aspects of your health, physical, mental, and all of that. It's very important, especially for a lot of people nowadays, like people who are in our generation who value mental health more than anything. It's really... Like, I completely understand what you're saying because when I was young growing up and even when I was in high school when we first met, I was definitely somebody that I refused to feel what I felt. I wanted, I forced myself to be positive. And as you mentioned, that's toxic positivity that kind of made me resent a lot more things than rather than becoming more positive about life. And then when I allowed myself to feel things, when I allowed myself to just feel everything and then let it go, it really helped me understand and process my emotions better because, because you start to understand why you feel sad. You start to understand why you feel angry. And then now, once you start understanding it, then you know kind of, this is what I have to do in order to avoid certain things or to in order to do certain things that make me feel certain things. Then that's when I decided, okay, I'm gonna start doing things that make me happy as opposed to doing a lot of the things that were just making me sad and depressed and ruining my life and making me feel shitty about myself. So I gathered all those things, burned them to the ground and was like, okay, I'm done with this, sweep it under the rug. Let's focus on everything else in my life. And now you see 
I'm surrounded completely by K-pop merchandise and K-pop stuff. So that's what I've been doing with my life. I've yeah. been <laughs> completely immersed and buried under a bunch of K-pop merchandise, which is good because it's what makes me happy. You can relate to doing the things that you want to do. Like you wanted to be an actor and you did it. And like for a lot of people, that's really a challenge because they're scared. They don't know if it will work out. And like for me, that, that was one of my biggest fears is that the things that I wanted to try and the things that I wanted to do, I was scared that, okay, it might not work out. And then once that works out, then what the hell am I going to do after that? Right? So you understand that and you did it. You, you really put yourself out there to try and chase the, the dream that you wanted to chase. And that's really admirable. Yeah, like I feel like for a lot of people, it's definitely the fear. I feel like a lot of people are really awesome and we're just meant to do a lot of great things. But the thing is, it's the fear that stops us from doing a lot of these things. The hardest part of it is knowing what you want because a lot of people still don't know what they want. I feel like money. The... <laughs> for a lot of people, money is the the like driving force but it should really be emotion like my best friend right now she was having the hardest time to look for a job and her goal was because she wanted money a lot of people for sure can relate to that of course me too i want money but for me it's really i prioritize you feeling like you should be there doing what you want it's i feel like that's that should be the main goal of a lot of people but the thing is back to what i was saying is not a lot of people know what they want in order for people to figure that out we have to be open to exploring a lot of different things be open to trying new things that's how you will be able to eliminate the things that you don't want and move towards the things that you want to do that would mean that you would have to do a lot of scary things that's the thing which again would lead back to the fear it's really trying to push through that for sure one of the things that I learned, and it's something, it's one of the best pieces of advice that I've ever heard, and it's something that I really carry with me and try to do in my life today, is that I watched this TED talk once with this guy, I forgot his name, but he talked about how he was a procrastinator, he was like a C student in high school and things like that, he wasn't really doing well, but then he learned that it's not about, you know, let's say you have an assignment to do, you have a task to do. It's not about like sitting down and focusing and doing that task in one go because a lot of people, they can't do that. A lot of people need time to do something. It's about breaking it down into more manageable tasks and smaller tasks that you can accomplish in like a small amount of time and then you can move on to something else, move on to another task, do something else. Like that really changed my perspective about how you approach not only like doing things but also life in general as like you have to break it to more manageable pieces you have to do it's it's about doing smaller things rather than achieving something grand and big like it's not it's not about the the move the big time movie that you're gonna star in it's all the small additions that you do that eventually lead up to that thing it, it's not you're never gonna get into a big time movie in your first try like you have to go through smaller editions you have to go through all the commercials and all the bullshit ads that mean absolutely nothing and all of those stupid gigs before you finally achieve your dream one of the examples he gave is like when you go for a hike it's not about getting to the top of the mountain it's about taking that first step outside your house to get into your car, to eventually drive to the mountain and get out and start hiking. Obviously, we can't hike now because it's the pandemic, but you know, that's the example that he gave. You, th you have to think about it in smaller, more manageable things, things that you can do, things that you can accomplish in your daily life, rather than this big, scary, big goal that you know, maybe you may or may not achieve. It makes life a lot more, a lot easier that way. Yeah, I totally agree with everything that you just said because in terms of working out, like you can't expect to have abs after, you know, doing five crunches in one day. 
you know like it just won't happen it's really like that for everything that we do it like they say it takes like 10,000 hours to be a master of anything we should keep going at it for hours and hours and it doesn't take a day to build a building it takes a lot of days even months or years so even with us that's how we should see ourselves as well we just have to keep going at it even though it is it's hard what i was talking about a while ago one of the patterns that i see with people who are successful it's really when they want to quit already but then they keep pushing usually that's when they reach their success it's really interesting that a lot of people go through that but then there were definitely like many moments where i would cry myself to sleep because I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Is this still worth it? I've been doing this for three years and you know, I still haven't had that breakthrough and it could get um, tiring a lot of times and there are times when you feel defeated but still you just have to push through it and know that eventually, you know, all your hard work will pay off. So I'm definitely there. And when it doesn't, that's when you quit. That's when you say like, okay, 10 years from now and it doesn't work out. You're like, okay, now is the time I move on. But at least you tried. At least you kept chugging on. You yeah. kept the train going. And when it reaches its final destination, you're like, okay, it wasn't the destination I wanted to get to, but at least I hopefully enjoyed the ride to get there. That's, that's kind of the mindset I have now. Yeah. True, and I feel like it just all makes sense in the end. Like for a lot of people, that's what I notice as well. Like for example, we do one thing and then another thing that's like completely not related to it. But then we somehow find like that happy medium where it just makes sense. And you know, a lot of people realize it when they're already doing it but then we just have to like go through all these things and i feel like that's where we're at right now we're still figuring stuff out until you know we're dead we're still trying to get to know ourselves more and <laughs> and you know still tr learning new things that's nice and you are you are doing amazing work you are chasing that dream Thank you. and working hard and i'm sure you will get there someday because you got the work ethic, you got the right attitude, you got the right mindset for it, and you're gonna get there. I know, I know it. I know that a few Thank years you. from now, so there'll be a TV show or a movie that I'll see you in and I'll be like, hey, that was the girl that did my podcast a few years ago and she made it. And I'll still be sitting in my room doing absolutely nothing with my life at that point. But you know, at least one of us made it <laughs> and that's a comforting thought. I feel like you we have like a similar mindset. So I mean we do. I feel like yeah, I feel like you'll succeed too. You'll get there as well. Yeah. We just don't know when, we don't know how, but we will. Yeah, we will. So yeah, we're done. That was definitely fun. It was really nice catching up with an old friend of mine. Thank you for being a part of our journey. See ya.